just got home from teaching a yoga class. I was just subbing for someone this morning and then on my way home I stopped at Trader Joe's because we have no groceries. We're leaving in two days to be gone for Easter so I didn't want to get that much and then I also stopped at Bath and Body Works because we're out of soap and hand soap is just the simplest pleasure of life. It just makes me so happy if I have a really nice smelling hand soap. I know that's probably really silly, but you have to wash your hands so many times in a day, you might as well really enjoy your hand soaps. I pretty much just grabbed everything I smelled. If I smelled it and it was good, I was like, I will buy this. So first I got this You Are My Sunshine soap because our guest bathroom is entirely sunshine themed. It'll fit perfectly, I saw it and I was like, I must get it. I got this Mango Papaya Paradise because lately I just wanted to be in Hawaii and just reminded me of Hawaii. There was also another one that reminded me of Hawaii. This one, Waikiki Beach Coconut. The last time we were in Hawaii, we didn't actually go to Waikiki Beach. We weren't on Oahu, but still love the smell of coconut. And I got watermelon lemonade. It's just a classic. This is always my favorite car smell when they have those car scenty things. I got Butterfly, it's their new scent. And I walked in and she sprayed it on a little piece of paper for me and was like, smell this. And I was like, that is really good. So got that endless weekend. And I'm not gonna describe the scent to you. I don't know how to describe, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really good. So very excited about all of that. At Trader Joe's, I got blueberries. We really need some blueberries. Love having some blueberries around. I got these Thai banana fritters. I'm really excited about them. After teaching class, I was waiting for people to leave. And so I was just looking up some fun things to get at Trader Joe's in like spring 2022. And this is one of the things. So I'm gonna try that later today. Wanted to try some new coconut creamer. I ran out of my creamer this morning. So, and I want more coffee right now. So I was like, I'll try this. Got a couple sweet potatoes. I'm always craving sweet potatoes. So I was like, yeah, we need sweet potatoes. I also got some zucchini because I'm going to make a recipe for lunch inspired by the college nutritionist with this, this peppered turkey breast and cheese. So you just layer it on top of like the zucchini, like you cut it in half and then you just bake it. It looks super easy, really yummy. I also just got some frozen peppers because peppers aren't the cheapest things in the world. And sometimes like I just want to saute some with like whatever I'm making. So I saw this, I'm like brilliant, a frozen bag of veggies. Frozen bag of peppers, rather. We we're also out of sriracha sauce, and every time Kyle needed some hot sauce, he's like, yep, still haven't gotten sriracha sauce. He's very demanding. No, but I put it on my grocery list the last couple of weeks and then just forgotten to get it. I don't know why. I do look at my list, but I've just like skipped over the sriracha sauce. I have no idea. So I got some of that. And lastly, I got two bananas, but I already ate one. So that is my little mini Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away and then make more coffee. Does this hand soap not fit in perfectly or what? I love it. It just matches the sign. It's perfect. All right, I have my coffee and I'm going to try this new creamer. And then I also got this date syrup when I was in Trader Joe's a while ago and I still haven't tried it and I got it specifically to add into my coffee. So it's supposed to be like a caramely sweet syrup, I guess, used in place of maple, agave, or any other syrup. So I'm just gonna, well, first I'm gonna try it. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna add it into the coffee. We'll just add a little bit. That's kind of a lot. <laughs> it's like a tablespoon. All right, and then we're gonna try this coconut creamer. This looks delicious. I just love coconut. I never used to like coconut and now I love it. Some things just aren't good on their own, but I think they'll be better when they're added into things. It's not very creamy. I feel like I just added so much. Mixer, mix all this together. Let's try it. I'm trying to find like a sugar alternative because my coffee creamer doesn't have a ton of sugar in it, but it's not sugar free. So not bad. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit more of the date syrup and then just a little bit more. I'm going to shake this up. I feel like I didn't shake it up very well. Okay. That should be better. Oh yeah, that's good. I like that. Mm. Um, sorry if you can hear the dogs there outside playing because 
I was gone all morning. They're just running around the yard. I talked about this before, but our yard is basically just dirt. The people before us, they didn't do a good job of like maintaining the backyard in the first place. So when we moved in, we moved in and we bought the house when it was just covered in snow. So it wasn't until a few weeks after we moved in that we saw the yard and we're like, oh, that is rough. And then we added Sven to the family in January and we got no snow this year. So it was just like dry grass. Like our backyard was already struggling so much. And then you just add two dogs who are constantly playing outside, like running around, having lots of fun. Our yard is just shredded to pieces. We're gonna try to fix it, sprinkle in some grass seed and things and hope that it turns out okay. The best part, oh, Oli is just barking so much. Sven is a very quiet player, Oli is not. He gets really into it, so I'm just gonna go tell him to be quiet. I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, so the part of our grass that is doing the best is over where they go to the bathroom. We didn't tell them to use only part of the yard to go to the bathroom. Oli just did it once, he just started. And then Sven followed suit, so now they only go to the bathroom in the far left side of our yard so that they have the whole rest of the yard to play. They do not like playing near where they go to the bathroom, which I think is so funny because they're dogs. And other dogs I've known have never cared. They just like step right through their pee, their poop, play in it, whatever. But nope, our dogs have decided this is where we go to the bathroom, this is where we play. So super funny, but I'll just give you a peek at our yard. So as you can see, completely mud right here. This, this part never sees the sun. So this was already struggling when we moved in. And then you can see that the grass is trying to come through. It is a bit like it's green. And then over there, that's where they go to the bathroom. So you can see like there are like the pea splotches, which aren't great. But otherwise that is what our whole yard could look like. So like I said, it is Wednesday. I was going to start like a whole week in the life starting on Monday, but it's just been a crazy week. We started off celebrating my birthday, which isn't until next Tuesday, so the 19th. But we celebrated with a pre-birthday birthday weekend this past weekend because this next weekend is easter we'll be out of town weekends are normally our time to rest and relax um to have introvert time kyle likes to just have like a day to himself which is totally understandable he has to talk to a lot of people for his job and he's always on the phone so he just needs some time to decompress but for my birthday weekend i didn't give him much time to decompress we were just doing so much I took some clips, but I'm just gonna lump that together with my actual birthday day when I when I share that. So yeah, this weekend was really nice. The weather was beautiful. Kyle got me a cricket, which I was so surprised. I have been wanting one, but they're just so expensive that I was like, I don't need one yet. I'll wait. Um, but he got me one for birthday. I was very surprised, very excited, and I haven't had time to just like sit down and play with it yet. So I want to do that in the next couple of days. Yeah, we just did a lot of fun things. A lot of eating at my favorite places, getting coffee from my favorite places, went for walks, we worked in the garden. We went to this fun new board, it's not new, it's new to us, this fun board game cafe called Spielbound. So they have games for you to play and then a lot of different drinks. So we both had butterbeer and played Ticket to Ride. It was just a really, really wonderful weekend. And then Monday morning, I had made an appointment to get my cavities refilled. So. I haven't had cavities. I don't even know when the last time I had cavities. It's been years, like five years maybe. I also haven't been to the dentist in two years because that's when Kyle and I got married and then we were on our own insurance and we didn't have dental insurance. We just didn't go to the dentist for a long time. We'll just leave it at that. Um, in my whole life, I've always been like every six months, I'm going to the dentist. So it had been a long time and I did have two cavities, one on either side on the upper side and they weren't huge they weren't bothering me but it was good to get them taken care of but anyway so I had that appointment at 7 30 and they just worked for so long in my mouth and it was so sore like I still can't open it up all the way I was just miserable on Monday like fully numb because the side wasn't numbing when they first started it so I had to I just kept asking them to add more numbing because it's like my biggest fear to think I'm numb and then get like twinge Ugh, just I can't I can't handle it <laughs> so um so yeah I was numb all day and my jaw was sore because even though they gave me something to rest my mouth on my mouth is really small at least that's what dentists tell me all the time so I just like tried to open further for them and yeah my jaw is really sore so Monday was just a wash I was just in a lot of pain we worked on the garden for a little bit but I mostly just did some computer work and felt sorry for myself <laughs> and then yesterday normally I am all free on Tuesdays um but I ended up teaching 
teaching three classes. I taught one and like the later morning, I was actually going to go and take that class. And then last minute she needed a sub. I kind of had the afternoon a little bit, but I was working on my podcast because my episode, my new episode released today. So then, and then I had to go back in and teach and teach around four. Then I stayed for a class. Then I hung out a little bit longer and then taught another class. And then got home and it was like 8.30. So yesterday was also kind of a wash, just a lot of teaching also yesterday. So this weekend was beautiful, just like 60s, perfect spring, warm weather. And then yesterday there was a storm and it was just such strange weather all day, like super windy. And it was at 90 degrees last night at 7 p.m. And then when I left my class around 8.30, it was just downpouring lightning, huge thunderstorm. And this morning, 30 degrees. Right now at 11, 30 degrees. Like so cold, like a 60 degree temperature difference. Again, I know I talk about the weather all the time. I also feel like I'm in a really chatty mood because it's my second cup of coffee that I probably didn't need, but I definitely want. All I to say, the next couple of days, I want to work to find just some balance. I've been talking a lot about that in my yoga classes, just finding balance in life, even though we can't always control things, there will never be like a perfect balance. I feel like a lot of my life, I've just been searching to find the right balance of everything, of spending time with friends and family and work and play and rest. Like I've been trying to find the perfect balance and you just can't. Different seasons of life are going to bring in different things, different levels of busyness, and you just kind of have to adjust. So I'm finally learning that. It's probably a good thing to learn. Could have learned that sooner, but that being said, I am, just teaching a lot this week. I'm subbing for a lot of people because I'll be out of town in two weeks. We leave for Israel. So I've just been picking up a lot of classes, but because of that, I haven't had as much time to rest because the classes are in the morning and especially the evening. I've been picking up a lot of evening classes. Today I do have some stuff that I have to get done, like work things, but then I would also like to just spend some time working on my Cricut, like actually opening it, seeing what I have, doing some research and just having fun and then I'll go back and teach tonight so I'll be gone for a few hours this evening. I'm gonna stop talking now because I have talked for a very long time and I'm just gonna go get some work done and enjoy my coffee. computer work for now probably mostly done for the rest of the day so right now I'm going to make those zucchini cheddar turkey things I'm very excited about that and then afterwards I'm going to get started with my cricket and then also find some time to take the dogs for a walk even though it's really cold they really want to go for a walk so you can hear Oli really actually wants me to come outside and play but it's just too cold for that hold on Maybe when Kyle gets home, we'll go out and play with them as well. They love just being in the backyard and throwing around the frisbee and the ball and such. But I will take them for a walk later so I can get in more steps. And then in just a few hours, we're going to go pick up Kyle's car. It's been in the shop for a few weeks. And then I'll head straight to teach yoga. <music> Very excited about this. It looks and smells amazing. Lunch was amazing. That is going to be my new favorite lunch. I'm going to make it all the time. It was just so good. Can't believe I've never made it before, but I just saw it on the college nutritionist, I think is her name, just on her Instagram. I've seen it a couple times now, so finally decided to make it and I'm so glad I did. And now I'm going to spend some time learning how to work this or attempting to learn how to get started working some of it that's more accurate. So I'm very excited. I had to wait for something to download before I finished setting this up. So I just got back from taking the dogs on a walk and now I'm going to carry on with setting it up. There's just a lot more steps than I thought were going to be needed. <laughs>
morning. Thursdays are always my really busy days. I mean, busy for me in this time of life where I'm not super busy. Thursdays are pretty packed. So today I woke up. I always start with today I woke up. Like obviously we know I woke up, but today when I woke up early, I had to go teach a yoga class. And then right after that, I went and ran just an errand for some things for our garden. Got Kyle and me Starbucks, which you saw. And then what if that? Oh, then I just sat here pretty much and watched videos on cricket things. And then I was designing a couple of bags to put in my Etsy shop, like some little pouches that have airplanes on them. They turned out super cute. I'm not fully done, but I was playing around with some designs. So I did that for a while. And then I volunteered at um, the barn I volunteer at. So I was there for a few hours until like three, came home, showered, and then Kyle and I have been playing outside with the dogs. We had to return a rental car that he got because he his car was in the shop. So it hasn't been super, super busy, but I also haven't just been like sitting around doing nothing either. And I am leaving in an hour-ish to go teach another yoga class on Tuesdays. I mean Thursdays. Today is Thursday. Thursdays I teach two classes, one in the morning, one in the evening. Um, but then I'm off because tomorrow we leave for Iowa for a few days for Easter, which is super exciting. So right now I want to go make those banana fritter things that I picked up at Trader Joe's yesterday. Um, I don't think Kyle will like them, but we're going to make them and try them anyways. I think I will love them. I've really been enjoying watching a lot of videos on learning about the cricket and just everything it can do. I wasn't aware that it could do so much just because like I knew it could do a lot of things, but wow, I have a lot to learn. And the video I was watching yesterday, she really stressed. She's like, if you're a perfectionist, which I'm trying not to be, but I am a perfectionist. But she said, if you are a perfectionist, don't worry when you waste materials on something that doesn't work out because you will, and it's part of the learning process. And I like to be good at things right away. So I think this is a really, this is just a really good process to go through and just do something for fun again and learn and just experiment and try different things, but overall just have a fun time with it. I don't know why I see things and think I need to be really good at them right away and not just learn by trial and error. Like that is a part of life is growing. So I'm really just trying to embrace being a beginner and not understanding anything and know that over time with playing around with it, trying new things, I will learn a lot. That's just how anything in life goes. And this is more of a newer thing for me where I want to be really good at things right away that take a long time to learn. I don't know if it's just because I'm older and I feel like oh, I don't have time to learn because I definitely have time to learn. I have plenty and plenty of time to learn. So playing around with this will be good for me. Kyle was so funny. He was like, I got you this. So it's like the version of PlayStation 5. Like what the PlayStation 5 is to him, fun and enjoyment. He wants this to be for me, fun and enjoyment. Not something where I feel like I need to be really good at it and then making things all the time, but making things all the time if I want to, but to have fun and enjoy the process and having it as a way to decompress and not as another thing to stress me out and feel the need to learn. I do want to make things for Etsy, but that's not like the goal of this only is to just have things to make, but to have things to make for myself and to have fun. So that was a very long winded ramble about learning things and just things take time and that's okay. I am going to sit here and work on my airplane design for a little bit until Kyle is done with work and done. He wants to shower and stuff. And then I'll check in with you when we're trying our banana fritters or whatever they're called. Honestly, I forgot, but they're banana. Are you ready to try the banana thing? Cook them, cook them, cook them. They are called banana fritters. They're Thai banana fritters. Okay. How many do you want? Um, there's only like- All right, so then. 400 degrees for four to six minutes or until heated through. Okay. All right, now we wait. They're done and they look quite tasty. Look at them. Wow. Mmm, they smell like sugar. Wow, I almost fried my hair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This right. one's skinny. Do you want this one? You like should, we, should we bite it from the end? No. Like this Lady and the Tramp? This is a delay. No, you get yours, I get mine. I want mine. the big one. Fine. No, that's fine. No, no, take it. Mmm. That's pretty good. You actually like it? 
I mean, yeah. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Why were you at home doing skin? Um, I just felt like it. <laughs> but no, I wanted to get them a couple of toys. I got cashews for you and me since I ate all your cashews. Cashews. I got cashews. Dogs realize there's something in there for them. I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm showing sure you other things. Yeah. And then I got these for my mom's Easter basket. Oh, hello. <laughs> and then look at this coffee. Like, we can make some cold brew with this. Smell it. It just smells so good. I'm like, I must. I can't like, smell it. Smell there. Mmm. Yeah. So that coffee for us. And then, oh my gosh, look. It's Whoa. Disney coffee. It's Minnie Mouse oh Raspberry Mocha. They saw you coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like, do I need coffee? And then... Wow, okay, that does smell really good, though. And then now for the dogs. Oh my gosh. They are going to shred this. No, it's not. It's not <laughs> fluffy. Okay, so I'll show the vlog. We got this cute one. I can't squeak it because they'll, they'll freak out. But that one sounds really funny. This one is fluffless. It's just crinkly. Oh. This one is a nice little chew toy. That's Ben would have fun with that. I do not remember putting this in my bag, like literally at all. I do not recall putting an ice cream. I do not remember this. I definitely did not grab this. You did, obviously. I thought, <laughs> I thought this was fun. It's a little chew stick. So you chuck it. I thought it'd be good for spend and chew. And then this last one is um, wow. just like a really tough one. So. Is it? Oh wow! I didn't Ole, know that. Yes, Ole, I'm not giving you all of them. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on, you don't get all of them. I'll give you one, I'll give you each one. All right, which one should we give them? I don't even know. I think we should definitely keep that one out because I think that would be a fun one. But then which toy should we give each of them? I think we give the, the fun squeaker, the pig. The, the lamb? Sheep? To pig? <laughs> Dog? Oh, Sven got excited. <gasps> oh my said. gosh, that's so... Oli, Oli, would you like this? Would you like this one? Okay, we got okay, to trim these off. Yeah, you like this one? We got to trim it off. I think Sven likes this because he plays football. Yeah. Uh, I thought the sound was fun. Okay, he's got his little tag on this guy. All right. Here's Sven. You get that? Yeah. No. <laughs> what do you say? You like the new Pringles? Oh, he's like, I don't know how I feel about this mouthfeel. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Grab it. Oh, Sven, you like it? Yeah, grab it. Not too sweet. That's mm. the one I want. This is yours. No, this is not too no, sweet. No, this is unsweet. Oh. You can't even fit ice cubes in there. Watch me. Watch me. We just can't put the lid on. Watch me. There's no way you can fit Watch three. me whip. Watch me, Nanny. I think I poured too much. I'm going to have a lot of fun today. Oh, my gosh. See? Whoa. Stand back. <laughs> I just made myself some more cold brew. It is just after one and we are all packed up and on our way and we're heading to Des Moines now for Easter. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.